Welcome back, everybody. I am Rosakius, and we are back playing Hearts of Iron 4. And we are playing Canada. So I've been contemplating this whole issue of we need to attack the United States at some point. Um, they have a tremendous amount of ability to create troops uh, that we don't. Partially because we don't have the factories for it, but also partially because they have more uh, they have more people to recruit from, they have more factories, they have more everything than us. So we are at a complete disadvantage and they're going to be creating more quickly than we can. <sighs> Which creates a problem for us because that's probably always going to be the case. Um, we are producing more of everything than we're rec than we're using, which is good. But we do need to get out. I think we're going to need to get out of the free trade fairly soon here. I think by the end of 1937, we're in 1937 right now. By the end of 37, I think we should get rid of free trade and move down that a little bit. Just so that we can get more of our factories being used for everything and get more of our resources so that we can create uh, guns faster and everything else faster. So we want to get to limited exports I think would be the best idea for us to go straight there. We need one of the following to be true. All of the following must be true. So Democrat, at war, enemy country has 20% of myself. Or we need all of the following to be true, not democratic. Um, one of the following must be true. Partial mobi mobilization, war economy, and total mobilization. So let's go over the mobilization, um, which is this one. Partial, we either need to be fascist or we need to be communist. So it's really important that we get to fascism pretty quick. Because once we do that, um, we, we should be able to go to partial mobilization, which will help us be able to create things much faster. In the meantime, we really need to hunker down and concentrate everything we have on building more civil, uh, civilized... <laughs> I keep on wanting to say civilization. Uh, more civilized uh, civil factories. Is that what these are? Civilian factories. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. Um, so that we can build things faster. Now we do need to, at some point, start creating some military factories as well. These things. And it might not be a terrible idea to at least get one extra dockyard working. Right now, if you remember, we have... Let's go to that. We have our one dockyard working on stockpiling some convoys. And I w I'm going to stop that at about 125, and we're at 112. So hopefully, uh, also by the end of the year, we'll probably switch this over. How many naval bombers do we now have? We now have 21... So we can't switch that over quite yet. Uh, good. So we're at 1937. Let's see what we have available to us. We need things faster. This is probably our... Ooh. So output is higher. Where is... Where are we on this? Um, this is at max, so let's go ahead and start with the improved machine tools. That'll increase our production efficiency cap, which will mean what when we're making stuff, we're going to be making it faster. So there's our swastika club. Swastika club, if you remember, is uh, increasing... Oh, that apparently doesn't do anything. I thought it increased the fascism, so I guess not. Uh, modify 
uh, the support the blue shirts, I think, is what we do need to do. Um, oh, no. No, the Swastika Club has to be improving fascism. It has to be. I don't... I wish it would tell me why it's not. Um, that's kind of unfortunate, because we really need to start up that tree as fast as possible. Oh well, the other thing we need to do, maybe it has, maybe it's tied to the world tension, but the other thing we need to do is increase the civilian factories, which is going to be something like this. We get three building slots and one civilian factory for the housing act, so that's great. We'll do that. Um, what else? I thought I saw... Research, there it is. So we're at 37. This time we're going to go for the dispersed industry. Let's look at our trade. So we are at negative on pretty much everything. And this one's, pro this one's really slowing us down. So... If we go over here, it shows how much we need of everything, and almost everything we have needs the steel. All our steel is going to infantry equipment. Now these will still produce, they will just produce at a much slower pace. So that's part of the issue we're having there. Let's go ahead and modify our government. Material designer maybe, artillery research, support unit, weapons and equipment. Let's do weapons and equipment. Equipment. So we have a lot of that to do. Faster research is good research, and we'll speed back up. Let's see how our friends here in Spain are doing. Uh, they look actually pretty close to being done. They got Madrid. They need to get. They basically need to get Barcelona and uh, Valencia here. They look like they're on the way. World tension only at 8%, so that's why a lot of the stuff that I need is blocked off right now. Which sucks for us. In the meantime, I don't know. I think we're doing alright. We're doing alright for ourselves right now. We're not going as fast as we want, but we're doing okay. Let me go back to this. Um... No, not this one, this one. No, not this one, this one. Haha. <laughs> um, we have two oil coming from British Columbia. I thought we had... Oh no, the Hindenburg! Uh, Marco Polo Bridge Incident, okay. Approved machine tools, so that's done. And I think we're gonna go straight into... Hmm. I think I'm gonna do this, the excavation. That'll make it so that we get more stuff from... All of our, all of our things, and then I'm going to do improved equipment conversion, and that improves the speed at which we upgrade our equipment once we learn new technologies, and that will be that will be good going forward. So na uh, national focus. Check on the swastika club over here if it'll let me. Thank you, autosave. Uh, well, I guess we're doing dollar a year, man. 50% research bonus for one industry. That's not terrible. That'll help us. That'll help, definitely. One thing we do need to do, we're going to give these guys some marching orders. Uh, we're going to have them come here and basically take... I... Dang. I... That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the to basically I want I want to come here and take New York, but maybe I'll just do this. Yeah. Now what that does is you get a bonus just for sitting there and planning, so we're planning just in case. I don't expect these infantry to actually do anything if I start a war with the United States. But in the meantime, Chinese United Front, it'd be nice to do something. So what we're mostly going to be concentrating here on these at this point in time is stuff that's increasing our research or decreasing our research time rather that's really what i'm aiming for now we got we got the important bits away uh we're gonna do research time at this point and we need to get 
another civilian factory queued up. Uh, let's put it in British Columbia. Next. That's pretty good. We're at four then. Ooh, this is going to be tricky. Um, because a lot of the things that we need are all grayed out because there's not enough tension. So we're going to do army modernization. That's going to give us a little experience. Ooh, that reminds me. And some land doctrine. That's not terrible. It's it's We're really gearing up. But if you look at this, our guys aren't trained. So we need to train them to make sure that they get all the bonuses. That's going to consume some of our research, uh, resources. But um, I think it's worth it. And then, hmm... I actually think it's worth going into construction and skipping, doing that ahead of time with the 50% bonus that we get. Uh, that'll that'll be done hopefully by the end of 1937. Gee, I, I was hoping to switch free trade away by the end of 37 and early 38. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. Because I'm not going to be able to switch over to limited conscription until the fascism grows. And it is growing. This brown bit is our fascist party. We're at 28% right now. The Swastika Club is, in fact, increasing it. I don't know why the other window didn't actually show its effects. So it's increasing 0.1 a day. Which is good. And it just went up to 29. So hopefully soon this will be fascist and then we can start along the way there. Another thing we could do to speed that up is we could use another advisor for it. But I, I think that's a waste of points. Alright, let's go here. I'm gonna slow down because we've got a lot of things going on right now. Uh, let's see, what do we have? It's not really worth doing that ahead of time. I think we're going to go with the mobile infantry. Those will pair nicely with tanks and will allow us... The tanks are currently coupled with cavalry, which is really not very helpful. So hopefully we can switch that out. That Those require um, rubber and gas, oil, which we were pretty limited on as well, so I'm not sure if that's going to work for us long term. Uh, and we're going to go to Ottawa Class Destroyer. We haven't started working on destroyers, but we want to make sure that once we do, we have the updated version. Destroyer is my ship of choice. They're pretty cheap and pretty quick. So, and they, they do a good job at pretty much taking anything out. They also do well at, uh, with, at protecting convoys. So they're just good all around stuff. And Spain is working very nicely. 17% on the German, the tension. Germans have produced 6.6%. I'm pretty, I'm pretty close to being able to send volunteers, I think. But I can't send volunteers to Spain. So what we're going to do now, I think I'm going to hold on to this 150 until fascism becomes the ruling party. And the reason that we're going to do that is so that when fascism does, we can instantly go over to total mobilization. Or uh, partial mobilization, rather. So, do we want artillery improvements or gives a hundred percent or a seventy percent bonus to motorized? Yeah, let's do Canadian Infantry Corps. Not a lot of good choices there. Let me go back to this. Nothing. We really need this. At least. So this we can unlock at 20% world tension. And this one we can unlock once current ruling party is fascist. Ooh, the other thing. Are we fully independent? No, we are not. We're pretty close. We're not there yet, though. That needs to happen, too. Alright. So we have multiple things to save up our 
political power for at this point, so it's probably good to maintain doing that. What else do we have a, an ability to take? National unity, we, we don't need that yet. Uh, all the bases, meh. Fascism, see, we could, we could speed up fascism by doing that, but I don't really think that's worth it. And this one, I think, is going to be... The war industrialist is going to be very useful for us pretty soon. Once we start switching from civilian factories over to military factories, uh, that's, that's going to be very necessary for us. Speed up. Good sir, speed up. How is our troop building? We're at 12. It's not bad. Ooh, we're almost... We're almost in the positive on infantry equipment. That's good. We're doing well on almost everything. And I think... Well, we're at December. Well, let's wait a couple extra weeks. Um... We need to, we need to train mountaineers. It's, we don't have that researched yet. That needs to be one of our next things that we do. Probably not the next thing, but it needs to be one of the next things. The next thing, I think, is going to be improving research time. Yep, yep. Canadian Infantry Corps complete. Let's slow down a little bit here. Uh, nothing is unlocked as of yet. Let's continue down. Yep. Don't really have much choice there. We're doing what we gotta do. So at this point, let's take a look at this again. We're gonna need 33 more political power for that, but we're a lot further away to use that, so we're not gonna be worried about that quite yet. We're at 38% national unity, or, sorry, fascism. It's the National Unity Party. That's kind of funny. Um, yeah, so I guess we're holding on. Because then, I mean, at this point, I can switch directly to a closed economy as well, or export-focused economy. Or save up for freedom. That's the other thing we can do. Doing well all the way around, though. Doing very well. Everything is almost capped out here. Construction 3 is done. So we're ahead by almost a full year on Construction 3. That's wonderful. That's going to be great for us. And we are going to go into engineering and do computing machine. That improves research time. There's no reason not to do that. Once this gets to, once our experience gets to about 30, we'll, we'll see if we can do things with that. Unfortunately, these guys can be done training. Ooh, ooh, a couple of things going. So we got our mobile infantry and an Ottawa class done. So we're going to do Mountaineers. So we have, the, we have the, re, the tech to do it. The other thing we want to do... I'm going to I'm going to uh, do the priest here. This is an it, it's basically adding an artillery to a tank which dramatically increases the soft attack which will help us take down infantry folks. At some point we're going to have to start uh, manufacturing those as well. Ooh, we need to switch over our convoy at this point. Uh no reason not to. And we're gonna put in the destroyer too. Yeah, that's that's fine. Gonna lose a little bit of production there, but whatever. So we want to put these. Wait, it didn't it didn't take. Okay. There we go. And we want to have these go to this port here. Once they get created. So it takes more than a year to create a single one. And that's, again, because we don't have the resources really to 
to create those. But at least we have it started. That's the important part. Let's take a look at our fascism. 41%. We're getting there. Getting pretty close there. Getting excited. Spain's almost complete. We're at 17. I think I think the tension actually went down a little bit. I thought it was 18 just a little while ago. That's kind of a bummer. Uh Yeah. Um Just a second, man. Red deer training. That gives us army experience and land doctrine. We don't really need that quite yet. I'm gonna take the walkie-talkie because that really improves a lot of elect a lot of uh, research stuff. So we're gonna do that. I think it gives us one bonus to electronics, so we could go ahead of time on the research bonus. I think that'll be good for us. And then we can go. We're in 38. I think we're gonna take this. See, we're not going to be part of the Commonwealth of United Kingdom, so we're not going to get these bonuses forever. So I kind of want to take them out wh while we can, instead of waiting and then losing that 10% bonus. I think that'll help us overall in the long run. Alright guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe below, and come back again next time. Bye-bye.